Welcome back to Relates Bench. Hey guys, something's wrong with this picture. No junk on the table. Oh well, it's after Thanksgiving. Everything is cleaned up, but it doesn't look right. And I've got a new character here, the Foof. It's our family's giant beanbag. It's now taking up residence by the fireplace during the winter time. So when you're cold, you can relax and warm up. Today it's pretty hot. So let's make this place a mess. So I've got a problem. Rolaids Night Vision 1.0. I like the setup. Um, easy to put on and off, etc. If you've seen the video, you understand. If not, watch it. Rolaids v Night Vision 1.5. I gotta go backwards a little bit. Kind of backwards. This is my little pea rod that I take out pesting at some local farms. It's um, just under 12 foot pounds power. Um, so we can shoot inside of some of the buildings. We've tested it in some of the barn metals. Everything. Fun little gun. I want to go out for starlings and pigeons and rats after dark. A lot of starlings and stuff that uh, roost and pigeons roost up in the cattle barns. Um, but there's no way to adapt this. I don't have any room for another scope ring. So we're going to have to go and uh, change it up here a little bit. Add a tube on it. I'm going to change the front ring. Stick on a uh, weaver mount. And show you two couple options you could do if you have a rig similar to this. This has been done a lot, especially over in the uh, UK and Europe. They've done all kinds of different ideas of tubes and whatnot to put a camera in. We're going to go that direction, call up Rolaids Night Vision 1.5, and see what we get. So here's the parts that we're going to be using that will be slightly different. Again, because I can't put a scope mount here to put the Rolaids uh, night Vision 1.0 on, we are going to change up a few things. I'm going to replace this front mount with a UTG with a adapter for um, a weaver rail on it. I'm going to also put a high-rise adapter on it, which then can hold my monitor or DVR. So that part will be there. Battery pack will still go here. But back here, the camera, and I pulled this one off of the other rig. This is my favorite EJ230 camera. The camera, I got two options. The first direction I was trying was taking a coupler, PVC coupler, found it at Lowe's. You can, and it fits just right for this scope. You can stick it on the front here, tighten this down, um, and the camera with a little bit of tape fits into here, goes, this can go in and tighten in. Um, play, I played with that, used it a little bit, and it's okay. I am um, a little bulky, so it can work. It's definitely a little cheaper. This is a, a few dollars at Lowe's than this route. Um, I had to look around to find exactly the measurement that this bug buster would use. This is the um, high performance silicon tube and you can get some different couplers that can go between one size and another size for my camera and this scope I had to get like a I forget this is like 42 millimeters or 41 millimeter so I'm going to cut this down and use a clamp and we'll blacken all of this I found some clamps with a nice little um, finger, like a thumb knob there you can twist with so you don't need tools. And then on this end, this just happens to fit really tight. There. And it will go in. So then it will hold my camera. So I will be cutting this down to once I find the right camera length um, for the focus. I want to get the optimal focus length here. I'll get that figured out. I'll make a cut in this tube. Downside is this tube, once I paid for shipping, was $40. And this was only six or seven. But I think this will be a little nicer setup. So let's make this P-Rod into something that I can go out and use.
And for all you P-Rod owners, check out this nice little slip-on. I think it's a $15 cartridge holder that goes on here. It gives you a little bit of a cheek weld and raises that up a little for the P-Rod guys. Battery slips in there really easy. You can configure this all around. This pops out. Like so. So you can set it at whatever works about right to hold in your battery size. Velcro on either side. You can stick this on here or here. So angle this over so you can see it here. I'm wanting to find my eye relief on this. So where the best place to put the camera is. So first I'm going to check it with my eye. Okay, right in here seems to be get out here and I start losing it again and right there is too far in so about right there so here's my camera should be able to Somewhere in here, get a decent view of the scope. So I'm going to cut my tube to right in there. Also, I'm going to change the setting on here. As someone noted on my other video, I forgot to do that. And um, change it to 4.3. If I go to 4.3, then I'm not stretched out side to side like I was earlier. So, yeah. We all make little mistakes like that, don't we? looks better so I've got my camera laying right where I want it in relationship to the eye relief I'm gonna slip my tube on to the position that I plan to I'm gonna stop it right at the edge of where my scope tapers down and I'm gonna put a little piece of duct tape to mark the front this is the front edge of where my camera is now all I got to do is get this mounted in more securely here. It just takes a few more rounds of tape. And I can see already that the front of my camera is almost the front of this. So once I figure out my distance here, I'll be able to know that my cut line is right about to the back edge of this, as long as I'm going to push this all the way in. My cut line should be about right there. And then I will definitely have some adjustment room. Of course, you could spray paint this. Oh well. I want the tightener down bottom here out of the way. I will tighten that down. Now one thing that's interesting is you can quickly sight in here before I pop, pop the camera in to see if I'm centered so I can look through my scope and I can see if my I can tell that I'm off just a little so I'm gonna recenter and then clamp this in all the way very close. So here's another thing that I realized I forgot to show you guys in the Night Vision 1.0 build and that is this idea I got from someone over in uh, England. I think it might have been uh, some bloke but I'm not sure which uh, guy showed us this. This is a piece of red lighting filter. It's in my parts list. I just forgot to show it to you. The idea is tape this over. This is very dirty tape this over your screen and you can see um, although it's day that shines through so it keeps your night vision I can bump my brightness up what I found is you can bump that brightness up some with this on and once your eyes adjust at night it keeps your night vision 
cool slick idea. Okay. That was simple. Turn this, our camera on and we will get it positioned. I've got it just snug here, but I can uh, I can move it a little bit. So the night the nice thing about this setup, if it does get bumped, doesn't take much to put it back into place. The last thing, the 940 IR from Pulsar, and for the close range work that I'm doing with this, this works good. I've got a whole other mount system up here on the front, so I'm going to actually be able. To put this guy right there. And now we're set up and ready to go shooting. I even got my little toad out here, pumpkin holding toad, the 15 yard guy, just to make sure everything's sighted in clear. And another thing I wanted to show you um, on this setup, I've had a few different people ask about how does it feel to um, shoulder the gun and a lot of it has to do with now my natural sight line would be right here naturally with my eye right here where the camera is by putting this mounting the screen a little forward like this I can still get a feel that's very close to shouldering and mounting with the scope and it's not quite like mounting the gun up and a normal fire but it's fairly close also, as we talked earlier, if you was in a uh, chair, you could have this down here and you could scan and shoot from like a seated position. Not quite the same though. All right, so here we are. This is the final Rolaids Night Vision 1.5. Um, this piece right here, like I showed you, you can use a uh, coupler so it can just twist on and off. So I really like this setup, cost a little bit more. And if you're thinking like I was when I was in the Lowe's plumbing aisle, I bought a couple different couplers. It's only a few dollars. The problem is, is they're too short. Then my camera gets too close to the front. And although it kind of works, it's a little touchier for the alignment, just like if your eye is too close to the front of the scope. So I really prefer the longer length. Got my battery pack, can quickly go to different guns. Um, this camera can slide right out and go right back to the other gun setup using the whole weaver rail. If you only want to use one camera. Again, I put them out here on the front, so I've got my pulsar light. Everything's ready to go. Now, the next video, we're going to be looking at Rolaids Night Vision 2.0. Guess what that is? Uh-huh. Video goggles with two cameras, a spotter, and a scope. I can't wait to show you guys. Take care.